today I'm sharing one of the simplest recipes I've ever shared here, but it's also one of my family's favorites for after school snacks and movie nights. Homemade stovetop popcorn takes just a few minutes to make on the stove. You actually don't need a microwave or an air popcorn popper to make popcorn at home. If you already know how to do this, stick around to the end because I'm going to share a few of my favorite natural seasoning ideas. All you need is a nice heavy bottom pan with a lid like this Dutch oven. We're going to set it over the stove and start by adding a little oil. You'll need about a tablespoon. I like to pop one kernel first to make sure the pot is the right temperature. Keep the lid on and let your popcorn cook in the pot over medium-high heat for a few minutes. Give the pot a good shake every once in a while to ensure that the popcorn is cooking evenly. When the popping has slowed down and there are a few seconds in between pops, you can carefully take off the lid so that you don't get any pieces of popcorn flying in your face. Homemade popcorn is delicious as is, but if you want to add more flavor, I have a few ideas for you. Nutritional yeast and a pinch of sea salt adds delicious, rich, cheesy flavor, as well as some vitamins and minerals. I like to toss it all together. My personal favorite popcorn seasoning is a little black truffle salt. It adds the most amazing flavor to any savory foods. If you've ever tried truffle fries, you know what I'm talking about. Dill pickle popcorn is definitely a kid favorite and a really fun one to make. I just add some pickle juice to a food safe spritzer, give it a spray, and then top with some dried dill. For a sweet treat, heat up some maple syrup and pour it over your popcorn. Add a little pinch of pink or sea salt and some chopped almonds or pecans for a delicious, sweet, salty, and crunchy treat. Find the rest of my popcorn seasoning ideas over on the blog and let me know your favorites. I hope you enjoyed this simple recipe. You can get the printer-friendly version over at yummymummykitchen.com. Bye!